We here at the Weather Channel are so excited about a new show that is debuting this weekend. It's already on my TiVo. It's called Weather Geeks. Now, that's a show that's made for me, I can tell you that. It debuts at noon on Sunday. And we're happy to have the show's host with us here today. That's right. He's Marshall Shepard, director of the University of Georgia's Atmospheric Science Department. And he's also past president of the American Meteorological Society, so we couldn't think of a better guy to, you know, step into this role. Actually, hey, maybe so. You're a weather geek, too, just uh, like us. Since sixth grade. I mean, I've loved talking about weather since sixth grade, so this really is a natural to come on and talk about it uh, every week on the Weather Channel. You're a man after my own heart, Absolutely. Dr. Shepard, I'll tell you. Now, w weather geeks, I can kind of get a sense of what that might be like. What are you guys going to be doing? Yeah, we're, we're, we're just going to talk weather. Um, it's a Sunday talk show format similar to our Meet the Press, but we're talking about contemporary weather issues, things like the polar vortex or the drought or the devastating typhoon that uh, has hit uh, parts of China. Things that real-life meteorologists are probably talking about around their own offices. Absolutely, and, and in social media. If it's trending in social media, we'll probably be talking about it, too. Excellent. So and you'll tackle some of the controversial issues that are out there? If it's, uh, if it's dealing with the atmosphere, we're going to talk about it, whether that be storm chasing, which we'll be talking about on Sunday, uh, the, the hype and uh, social media. I'm sure we'll get into some other controversial topics, at least in some people's mind, like climate change. So we're, we're, we're not going to shy away from anything, and we're going to have top-notch guests from the weather community. Community. And because of all that awesome stuff, the show's actually been getting a lot of buzz, including yeah. from NBC's Jimmy Fallon. Have a look. Love the Weather Channel, right? I love the Weather Channel. He was yeah. doing his Two monologue last night. Right. And then he kind of gave other shows that we might do. America's Got Humidity, I think, would be perfect this time of year, right? <laughs> right. Satellite he, Night Live. Right. He was oh. actually talking about the Weather Channel and some shows that, that we have coming on. Right. Keeping supposedly. up the cumulus formations. Yes, you'll be You'll be Kim, obviously. I'll yeah. be Kim. You'll right. be the version of Kim Kardashian. Right, right, right. But no, Weather Geeks, we're super excited right. about it. It's the first one uh, uh, of our upcoming shows. It's obviously the one that we're most excited about. And we're so That's excited. Correct. We want to have you take part in a segment that Alex and I I do every day called top five videos. Oh, let's do it. Are you up for it? Absolutely. Let's hit it. Sure. All right, time for our top five. Let's take a look at some amazing weather videos around the world, and we're going to count them down five to one, so let's start with five. Okay, number five, a day at the lake brings an interesting sight, a surprise water oh, spout. Wow. Check it out. How about that, Dr. Shepard? Oh, wow, that, that's nice. Uh, yeah, having been to school at Florida State University, Florida gets its share of uh, water spouts, so often get questions about those, how they're different from the tornadoes we see out in the Midwest. Sure. Yeah, they're related, but different. Very interesting Number stuff. four is flooding in Austin last night. Rainwater flooded the streets around the University of Texas, where the area was pelted by showers and storms. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, I've been right on that street. We had the AMS meeting there last year, the AMS. American Meteorological Absolutely. Society. And Absolutely. that's a happen in town, so they had to clear a lot of people out, or the water did it. Yeah. Now, this is Typhoon Ramasoon. Continue its deadly rampage, slamming into southern China as one of the strongest typhoons to hit the country in a decade. Yeah, and I mean, I just saw one tweet that suggests it may be the strongest typhoon to hit China ever. It's a recorded record. We're not still verifying that, but right. I just saw a tweet before we came in. And wow. if so, maybe we'll have that on Weather Geeks. Yeah, Here's absolutely. I like to think Video so. number two. Yesterday, we showed you a giant mystery hole in Russia. Well, that seems to have appeared out of nowhere. Now, Russian scientists are saying the 200-foot wide crater you see here could be the result of changing temperatures. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I just don't know much about that yet, but it's certainly plausible. Yeah. Uh, as of a few days ago, I know they had no idea, no hypothesis so this temperature theory, that's frankly a new one to me, but I'll need to take a look at that's that That's something one. maybe you guys could tackle. Sure, we, we'll tackle it on Weather Geek, sure. Okay. And number one is an engineer driving to Raleigh, North Carolina last night. Well, he took this video. A falling meteor right on the dash cam of his oh, yeah. car. There yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Lasts about three seconds. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Of course, we as meteorologists don't study meteors, <laughs> but a lot of the public thinks we do. But that's really an intriguing uh, video. It really is. Dr. Marshall Shepard, Thank so you. glad to have you. We'll be watching on Sunday. Thank you for having me. Weather sure. Geeks, noon Eastern time this Sunday.